Soon a heat caution alert goes into effect in the city of Philadelphia. Yeah, temperatures once again will be soaring into the 90s today, and it is only getting hotter as the week goes on. Our witness news reporter Ross Mate joining us live from outside of the art museum with more on what the city is doing to help you stay cool. Good morning to you, Ross, and it's already warm out there this morning. Yeah, good morning to you guys. We do have some brave folks out here. I'll show you them in just a bit. But that I do want to point out that heat caution alert that you mentioned that goes into effect later today is different than a heat health emergency, which would automatically trigger different cooling centers throughout the city to open up. That is not the plan, at least for right now. That could always change. But it's also not stopping certain elected officials from doing what they can to keep people safe, hydrated, and cool right now. Speaking of which, we were there as State Representative Amin Brown filled up his mobile office with as much bottled water as he could yesterday. He then took about 10,000 of those bottles and hand delivered them to seniors throughout West Philadelphia. He says he puts an extra emphasis on so called food and drink deserts, or areas with limited access to affordable and nutritious food and water. And these uh, seniors certainly appreciate that. He always calls to make sure that we need, if we need anything, whatever we need, he's right there, provides it for us. We focus on the seniors because. If, if there's a heat wave, I can't expect them to be walking down the street and then to carry back a 30, a 30 pound uh, case of water. You know, that's not okay. I wouldn't want that for my grandma, my mother, or any of my seniors. It's important because we're seniors. I might not look like a senior, but <laughs> we're seniors, okay? <laughs> She's got a good sense of humor. All right, if you're planning to ride out this heat wave at home, here are some tips from NRG Communication to conserve energy while also keeping cool. That's the balance here. So adjust that thermostat if you can. Experts say 78 degrees is the most energy efficient temperature. Also, check and replace your air filters. Close up your blinds, seal up any cracks or openings around your house. That'll help with your energy bill. And finally, use smaller appliances whenever possible. And if you have to do loads of laundry, do them in bulk. Do larger loads when you have to. That's some good ways to save money. On your energy bills. All right, back out here live. These are these brave but smart folks, I would argue. They are out here working out before the sun rises. That's another great way to beat the heat. Check out this guy lugging around. Uh, it looks like a boom box on his back. That's extra effort there. Give him some bonus points. All right, finally, I want to mention that the Office of Homeless Services is going to be out throughout the city just making sure that everyone's being safe, handing out water bottles to anyone who may need them, and encouraging everyone to get inside, stay inside as much as possible throughout this very hot week ahead of us, guys. We are Live at the Art Museum this morning, Ross DiMatteis, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Oh gosh, Ross, that lady had us crack.